Okay guys, uh, thanks for joining the channel again. I keep saying that every time we um, I do a new video. So I do appreciate everyone that um, checks out my videos, leaves a comment, um, leaves a like. Even if you don't, even if you have something negative to say, um, or not negative, but we say something you see that I'm doing wrong or something I missed, just let me know on the videos. Or so, if you have a vi particular video you want me to see me do or <coughs> explain in more depth or something like that, uh, just go ahead and ask me. So as uh, at the moment, I have a few videos that I'm working on with the uh, refining of the um, gold, say from from uh, gold fingers and stuff like that. So them videos take a bit longer to do because um, you have to go through so many processes. So and again, once I get my subscriber numbers up, I'll start uploading them videos. Until then, I'll just keep doing my tear down videos. Um, I want to get more subscribers for when I want when I'm doing the. Um, gold recovery actually from it. So at the moment I'm just doing tear downs of where I get my materials, what, what I keep for gold recovery. So for today's video, I'm going to be working on network switches. So I've just got two little network switches here that I'm going to take apart and we'll have a look inside them and see what type of boards they have, what, what gold is on them, uh, silvers, is there anything worth keeping, um, stuff like that on it. So please subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this video and you are not a subscriber please subscribe to it um, I really appreciate it when people subscribe uh, to the channel and again if you have a channel yourself doing this kind of thing I'll, I'll subscribe back uh, just leave a comment with your channel name on mine and I'll subscribe I'll even give you a shout out so that a few of the people that are on my channel might subscribe to your channel as well so we'll just help each other out try and get subscribers uh, stuff like that so first off I'm just going to remove all the screws from uh, this so again I just see a few screws here in the back so I'll remove the screws from here I'll remove the screws there screws there um, I'll have a look under these to see if there's any screws sometimes it can be hidden screws under here there isn't on this one uh, again it could be a hidden screw underneath here so just have a look for any of them so I'll remove the screws for both of these once I've removed the screws we'll come back there's no point um, wasting the video time uh, just removing screws when watching me removing screws so I'll pause the video there and we'll come back and we'll, when the screws are removed okay so um, I've removed the screws here now on this and we'll go on to the next stage to see what we can find in here for the that I can use for gold recovery at a later stage so this seems to be fairly straightforward since the top just slides off it on this one okay so top slides off it I see a little board in there already I uh, see a few IC chips, um, that's mainly it really on this one, a few IC chips, we'll take the part further in a second, we'll just have a look in the second one, okay, same thing again, it's just a basic um, board with an IC chip, um, a few MLCCs, um, crystal oscillator, a bit of copper, uh, again you can use for your scrap, uh, but for the gold recovery side of it, it's the, it's not that much really on these looking at it here so we just take off a few of these old screws here we'll do it quickly oh, shouldn't take too long to take off these screws uh, but I say please subscribe uh, very important you subscribe to the channels any people that go to the regardless if it's my video or any video if you're, if you're watching a lot of videos that people are making uh, just subscribe to their channel um, it encourages them to make more videos um, there's a lot of good lads out there making videos. You have the Moose Scrapper, you have Geo, uh, has a few videos there. Um, there's Happy Scrapper. There's uh, too many to mention actually, but I might start doing is putting a few links of theirs up to my up on mine as well, um, because I don't believe in this not sharing information or not helping each other out. We're all in this together. We're all trying to make a few pounds from the scrap, trying to do a bit of gold recovery. Um, so there we just have a basic steel case um, not much value there just into your steel steel pile and um, the actual board itself again very basic board nice C chip uh, crystal oscillator um, some MLCCs along here um, underneath here is copper there'll be little copper when you break that open there's copper inside of that usually and here on this side then we have uh, pins which will be the little connectors will have gold plating on them so not a lot to these boards this will be a short enough video actually looking at it here now because there's not much to it um, so all I'll be really taking off this board in the future when I put the I'll put these with the rest of my boards for um, further breakdown and um, 
as you can see on some of the videos already I'll show you how I, how I get the IC chips off how I get the MLCC's all that sort of stuff off them um, so if you want to see how I do that just have a look back in a few of my videos again if you're subscribed to the channel the videos will come up automatically whenever I put a new video up um, for you you get a notification that I have a new video on gold recovery or whatever it is so like this one now will just be um, on on these little um, network switches What's what's what go what um, items are suitable for gold recovery? Uh, is there much value to it? Is there much in here? Um, and to be honest, there isn't much in these at all. This is going to be the exact same as that last one. If I can find the hidden screw somewhere, there's a, definitely a screw hiding somewhere inside of here. Um, so I'll just get a knife and I'll be back in a second. Okay, oh, sorry about that, knocking the camera over, uh, get a knife in underneath, so we can take them out, okay, so exact same as the other one, one IC chip, um, possibly two, three IC chips, small, smaller IC chips here and here, so you have your smaller IC chips here and here, larger IC here, crystal oscillator here, Gain some copper for your, into your copper, um, small bit of copper there but they all add up uh, a lot of people go oh there's not much there or whatever but all adds up if you're not in a rush uh, you're not going to get rich by getting a few of these boards you're going to need thousands and thousands of everything to get money out of it but if people are giving them away free throwing them out um it's better than going to a landfill uh someone and be just being dumped get this get them if you have room to store them store them up just break them down into the smaller pieces when you have enough steel got together, just get your steel, get rid of your steel. Um, when you have enough um, copper got together, get rid of the copper. The le the one you're going to have to hold the longest to collect enough of is going to be the small, like IC chip, stuff like that, to get your gold recovery, to make sure you have enough to make it worthwhile. There's no point trying to refine 10 of them for gold recovery. It's just a waste of time. You're going to need hundreds and hundreds of these over time. Build them up, pounds of them, weight. So, usually... Um, depending on the type of IC, we say the IC chips from the RAM and stuff like that, it's, it's on average, um, you're getting about a gram per pound. So again, if these are working on the same sort of principle, if this is the same type of gold, same quantities, you need a pound of these to get your gram of gold again, um, through your processes in future videos, you'll see how I process these, but it's only when I get the subscriber numbers up, I will be load, uploading them videos. At the moment, it's just all teardown videos I'm doing. I am working on the on the gold recovery ones, and once I get my subscriber numbers up, as I said, I'm trying to hit a target of 500 subscribers for my first gold recovery video. Once I get my 500 subscribers, I'll upload my first gold, proper, full gold recovery. Um, I'm going to be, be a gold finger one more than likely, or gold uh, from IC chips, one the two of them. They're the two easiest to to do for me um, personally at the moment they, because again I don't have um, access to nitric acid so to here in Ireland you, it's, it's, it's a substance that you need a license for so I've just been working with HCL, bleach, um, poor man's nitric, uh, sulfuric acid stuff like that is all I can have access to so for me to do the videos I have to pick and choose what, what, what cold recovery and what uh, methods I'll be using so again for anyone that hasn't got access to nitric, um, my videos will be that sort of video, so it should help anyone out again who doesn't have, uh, doesn't have, be, have a source of um, nitric acid, we can do it that way. So for this video, that's all there is really to this video, it's a nice short one today. Um, just the IC chips I'll be getting at a future date, the copper I can take off. The um, gold pins inside of here will be put into my gold pin collection where I do uh, reverse electroplating on that to recover the gold from that hopefully. Um, there possibly could be a little bit of um, connectors in the inside of here. Copper again in underneath here. That's about it really that I can see. So again if you see anything that I've missed, I've done the MLCCs, um, all that sort of stuff there. You've got your MLCCs in here. Uh, we've got some MLCCs very small along here uh, and this one they're a bit bigger but again now you need an awful lot of these and again a lot of the newer st MLCCs won't contain any platinum, won't contain silver, it's more zinc that they're using nowadays 
So again, if it's a very high-end product, it probably would still have the uh, platinum in it, but more the um, lower-end stuff, uh, your routers, your uh, cheaper laptops, stuff like that. On the boards now, they're using just the MLCCs, which have um, have zinc in them instead of platinum and silver. So again, we have an MLCC in here, some MLCCs here, um, another few MLCCs here, and another one here. So that's it for the video. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you are already a subscriber, thanks a lot for subscribing to my channel. Um, until the next video, keep on scrapping.